questions for you. Okay. The first being, which one was the most difficult scene for you to film in Supernatural? And the second being, if you could be any other character that's Supernatural besides a god on the show, what would you like to be? Okay. <laughs> the most difficult uh, scene that I had to shoot. Um, I guess, and, and, and it's not difficult as far as the physicality of it, but I guess it's the scene where I confront Sam, sort of the final, my final scene in, in Mystery Spot, because that is the one scene where the trickster really strikes a balance between I'm messing with you, but I'm not kidding around. Sort of that intricate, I mean, you know, the, the trickster's all about having fun. You know, he's, he enjoys taking the, uh, you know what, out of these guys and give them a hard time. And, uh, and that's great, but at the same time, especially the second episode, he really has a point, there's a method to his madness, whether you agree with it or disagree with it. And, at that, and that scene is written when you really call Sam to the carpet, and what I thought was interesting about that scene, the way it was written and the way it was staged and the way we uh, played it, was how it starts out fun, at least from the trickster's angle, and then has to morph into, but here's why I'm screwing with you, dude. And, and for, the, for me, that was the, the scene that required the most sort of, you know, discussion and, and thought because you want to be sure you, you're hitting all the, the right notes on the keyboard when you're, when you're playing that one. So that, that would be that scene. Oh, and the second one was the second one. Uh, oh, oh, gosh, I want to be Dean. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't mind being Sam because Sam's really tall and that'd be nice too. He's starting out be all tall and crap. And all that. I don't know, man. I think I'd want to be Dean. Thank you. Sure. I have another band about the brothers question for okay. you. I know that a lot of the actors got to meet um, the actual veterans or their families, and I wondered if you ever had a chance to meet or interact with Skip Muck's family. I did. And this is also an interesting and very long story. <laughs> uh, did, okay, so I got, to, I, got, I got cast in Band of Brothers, and they said, you're playing this guy, playing Skip Mock. I'm like, great, I'm excited, all right, I'll do my research. And they said, no, my character, for those who haven't seen the, uh, the, uh, the series, you know, these are real men, and the, the, the man I played uh, died in Battle of the Bulge. So obviously I'm not gonna be able to contact him, but I thought I'll track down his family, I'll, I'll talk to his family. The production office didn't have any information for his family. And in the script, it said, in one of the scripts, it mentioned, he meant, makes a mention of being from Florida. So I said, okay, must be from Florida. And I, they gave me the numbers of a couple other real vets. By the way, just real quick show of hands, who here has seen Band of Brothers? Okay, so some of you, you're following, okay. So, be sure I wasn't like, killing everybody's buzz with the Band of Brothers stuff. Um, so I called Don Malarkey, who's a real vet, and the real vet says, no, Skip's from New York. He's from upstate New York, Tonawanda. And I go, oh, okay. So I, I how do I find a muck in Tonawanda? I, I, <laughs> I, I should have called you? Oh, okay, well, well, where were you seven years ago? So I, I, I call, I look up on, online every person with the last name of Muck I could find in the phone book in Tonawanda, New York, and I just called everybody and left messages for everybody. And I got a, oddly enough, I wouldn't have called me back, but they called me back. And, uh, and it was like this, I have no idea who that is, but you know, I'm thinking how many Mucks could there be? And it turns out there's a handful. Um, and so they all called back and said, I'm sorry, I don't know who this person is, but good luck and all this stuff. So as a last ditch ever, before I went to London, I sent an email to the Chamber of Commerce of the city of Tonawanda and explained what I was doing and what I was looking for. And then I went to boot camp and, and flew to London and went to boot camp. So then three weeks later, I get an email back, or not, uh, yeah, an email back from a lady named Eileen O'Hara. And she says, hello, my name's Eileen. Uh, the city contacted me, apparently you're looking for my mother. And I'm going to find, you know, I'm emailing you to, on her behalf to see what's going on. So I call her and we speak and I say, hi, I'm Richard Spate. I'm doing this miniseries, Band of Brothers. I'm playing your uncle. And I was just curious, uh, you know, I, I want to know if you, you could tell me about your uncle or talk to your mom about uh, her brother so I can, you know, play him well in this series, Band of Brothers. And she says, what's Band of Brothers? And I'm like, well, the book. They did their, Stephen Ambrose wrote the book and they talked about your brother and uh, your, your uncle and, and I'm, now they're doing a miniseries of it. She goes, what book, Band of Brothers? I don't know what you're talking about. So suddenly I realized this woman had no clue that her family member had been documented in this really popular history book. And not only that, 
but they didn't know how he had died. So then I'm saying, and the mom was super close to him. So then I'm going, oh, uh, okay. Oops, well, let me <laughs> rewind the tape here and start you know, over. And so I, I, I sort of explained to her what we're doing. I sent them copies, copies of the book, and they read the book. And then they called, and it was really hard for the sister, because all, all they got was the personal effects back, and they never got any information. So now they, they had this information. And Skip's death, again, for those who don't know, he takes a, a direct hit from a German 88, and his foxhole is just obliterated. There's nothing left of him. So it's a pretty brutal uh, death. And the sister then started, so now this Skip Monk's sister, Ruth, she starts corresponding with me. She sends me his Western Union telegram announcing his death in the government. And his original letters from Colonel Sink, uh, you know, about his jump training. And an unopened letter that was, that they sent to him, they got sent back, and it said deceased and circled and sent back. And some pretty amazing stuff, some pictures of him and, and, and his real army buddies, and, and it was pretty remarkable stuff. And what was great is I was able to like, then go back to the scripts and go, okay, here's the news. He's out in Florida, he's from New York. <laughs> And because they, they're saying, well, we don't know anything about this dude. I'm like, I got you. So if you ever go, if you ever see episode seven, there's a scene in episode seven where I'm sitting in a foxhole and I'm talking about swimming across the Niagara River. That's a letter written to me from his sister about her brother. So I just handed the letter to the writer and I go, you want to know something about him? This is, this is a real story. And so they put that in. And I talk about my girlfriend, Faye Tanner. Well, then Faye Tanner sees the series. And she hadn't spoken to the family since the day he shipped out. And contacted the family and gave them back his original jump wings that he had mailed to her from England before he shipped out to actually fight the war. And then we actually lobbied the, the government to get his medals reinstated because they never had those done either. So he got, he got all his medals reinstated and, and they got a lot of information about <laughs> I'm still in, in, in contact with the O'Hara's. We're so, I still keep in touch with Don Malarkey. We, we're all, we as actors have our own reunion once a year, and uh, the vets come in for it. I mean, we're still in touch with Garnier and Malarkey and a lot of the guys, so. Thank you. Sure thing.